Do you guys remember this PC here? If not, here's a little bit of a refresher. This is my friend Jack's PC and last time we had it through, it was having a few issues, it was blue screening and we seem to have fixed the issue. Those issues came back and Jack was lucky enough to take a photo of his screen as it froze, but not the blue screen, what it was doing. And there was a lot of artifacting, which leads me to believe that the GPU is on the way out and it's got some bad VRAM. I said to him, look man, I don't mind fixing your PC and changing the hardware and whatnot, but if I'm gonna do it in the future or do it now, this case has gotta go. And I know everyone loves this case, but he's gonna keep it just for the purposes of keeping it, but it is a bit of a pain in the butt to work on. So we're gonna transplant all the hardware. I'm gonna give him a new motherboard. We're gonna use the same cooler, same everything, and we're gonna swap out the graphics card to something slightly better. We're gonna put in the 6600 XT. And we're gonna get away from this Nvidia card, and then we're gonna see if the problem comes back. Hey, why don't you just test the GPU before swapping all the hardware out? That'd make for a pretty short video, wouldn't it? As I mentioned, I think we've identified that it's the graphics card and usually when we see artifacting like that, it's the video memory. What's been happening is Jack's been able to play games like CSGO, some games that aren't super GPU intensive. He plays at 1440p, so in games like Modern Warfare 2, he'll play for about five minutes and the game will just blue screen, crash out. And he showed me a screenshot of him watching a video on YouTube in Chrome and the whole bottom of the screen started to artifact, which means video memory. So the computer's been very unstable for a while and I've been promising that I'll fix it for ages, but you know, time and all that stuff and whatever. But we're here. If he comes back to me, I told him I'm not fixing it again. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. Yeah, I'm just double checking. I just forgot what computers it's look a like. Computer. Is it? Yep. Okay, well, we better see what's inside this computer. This is a classic case. Everyone always asks, where did you get that case? It's just a very old case that was very popular many years ago. But I tell you what, this system with everything in this configuration is an absolute pain in the neck to work in because it just wasn't designed for more modern hardware. Like bigger GPUs, like the 2070 Super is not huge, but look how I have to pull it out. Like it's just, I hate this so much. That's a shame, because you're usually pretty good at pulling things out. <laughs> I had to think about that. You're rude. <laughs> you're very, very rude, Claire. Jack? Dusty? Clean your computer. Come on, mate. I'm not here to clean up after you, buddy. Clean your computer. This is disgusting, bro. We had this chat. <laughs> we talked about this, mate. You can turn that thing off now, Claire. I'm gonna show you guys how I would typically transplant just stuff from one motherboard to the other. It starts off with cleaning the CPU. There's a lot of little tips, and I've showed these in the past, but makeup pads, they're very, very cheap, little cotton thingamaboobas and diddly dats, and put some isopropyl alcohol on that, just give it a couple pumps and a couple sprays and you can clean your CPU very easily by using this method. Look how easily it just wipes away all of that disgusting schmuck. Is that is that what it is? Or oh, disgusting muck. muck? Schmuck is something else, right? Yeah, you. It, <laughs> I forgot what CPU this was. It is a Ryzen 5 3600X. Oh, this is a potent little, little CPU. Here we go, the one shot transplant. Pop the CPU out of there, pop it out, open this socket up, drop in the CPU, give it a little wiggle just to make sure it's sitting flush. Put your finger, oopsie, on the Z, and then push it in. You know what, Claire, I forgot that I was gonna use the same cooler, so I'm gonna transplant all this cooler hardware to the other, like, Motherboard. It uses the factory backplate. Most of these coolers do. We've got a whole AM5 fitment guide if you're interested. Whether or not your AM4 gear will fit on your AM5 board, I'll link to that in the description so you can check that out at your own leisure. But I'll just quickly do this. All right, I've got to put that M.2 in. What's this? It's like a one terabyte. Wait, I gave him an SN850 one terabyte? Wow. 
lucky guy. What the heck? I was wondering where this drive went. <laughs> it went straight into Jack's PC. M.2 in the hole, in the M.2 hole. Funk. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. That was weird. I uh, folded myself the other day, guys. <laughs> At Carnes Hill Skate Park, I folded myself. From an A4 piece of paper to an A5 piece of paper. Let's just put it that way. Can we put the um, the drawing, the reenaction up on the screen? Ooh, fine. <laughs> I'll explain it. Okay, so you see this quarter pipe, the one that's kind of like to the right hand side of the frame. I was gonna do like a front side air from the quarter pipe into the bank and I was going a little bit too fast. And A4 to A5, I just folded myself in half. Yeah, my back's a bit sore today. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you grab that ram? Uh, that, that, you, you, yeah, you can do it. Look, apologies. There's a pile of ram just behind you. This is the ram from, you got 32 gigs of RAM? He really should know. I think he does. Jack, do you know? Comment below. I guess we should tell them what case we're gonna use. A cardboard box. A cardboard box. Well, considering I have four of them, he's getting one of four that I've got. He's getting the NZXT H5 Flow. Like I said, I've got four of these cases. This is the white case. This is what I always thought was really weird about it. Look, it's the white case with a black front and a black interior. I mean, NZXT, oh, it's Claire, hi. <laughs> <laughs> NZXT fixed this with their later cases with like the H5 Flow and whatnot. I was thinking, you know what? Four of these are sitting in the warehouse. Let's make three of them sit in the warehouse and Jack can take one of them to clear up some space. Poor Jack. Everyone picks on Jack. Why, do pick on Jack? Why does everyone pick on Jack? Jack's a great friend. He's a good bloke. Okay, he's fine. Like, he's okay. He'll do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's, oh, all right. Let's, let's build. Let's build a PC. Let's build a PC. Are we all good? very, um... i tell you what. Have you got food in your face today? I don't, but you know what? Are you sure? This facial hair, like I'm letting it grow because I'm trying to do something, right? It's ridiculous. Oh, I get these. Filming. I get these long grey like nose hairs. I think I talked about this the other day, but the moustache hair up here, like I haven't had time to trim it. I'm a busy guy doing busy guy things. It goes in my nose and it's itchy, so sometimes I'm like this, and I have to like cut out the clip, like that part of the clip. <laughs> the glass panel sucked. They had a habit of. Popping. Not when you take them off, but just, oh, I, I really hate these glass panels. Oh, lip, and then psh, explode all over your face. Mother, brother, brother, cousin, board going in. This one's got a center peg as well, like most of the builds that we've done like this lately. I think it's gonna look dope. I haven't even taken the back panel off yet. I like that motherboard. It is nice. Claire was actually kind of sad. She was like, oh, and then I'm like, well, I'm not gonna use it. it's been sitting on the shelf for, I don't know, like a year. Oh, why do I need it? I don't need things. What? What's that? This is the NZXT controller that I was <laughs> searching high and low for, for like a half a day last year, or probably at the start of the year, freaking out like, where the flying fuckeroni is that? Controller and it was just sitting here the whole time. And you thought I put it somewhere. In the warehouse. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't need it now. <laughs> Obviously. You need an apology video, Nick. No, I will never apologize for anything. I can't believe that's where it was the whole time. I'm so <laughs> angry. Why does this happen to me? I don't know why you're filming this bit. Because you told me to. Oh yeah. It smells so bad. It smells like bongs. <laughs> Smoke the power supply. Oh! That's, that's a, yeah. Hurry up, my back's sore. Okay, power supply's going, my back's sore. You saw the picture. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a competition. <laughs> well, it looked like it, it was a bit. If it was a competition, you'd lose. Yeah, because I got folded. Here's the 750 watt power supply that we had in the old system. This is going back in. This was a new power supply when I gave it to Jack. It had never been used, and I highly doubt that that would cause any issues. I don't care. You drink my coffee when I say no. Every time I have a coffee, Claire's like, oh, I'll have a soup. Just make your own coffee. I don't want a whole coffee, I just want a little bit of yours. Hopefully the culprit to all of this was the graphics card. This is the Gigabyte 6600 XT Gaming OC. 
Why do they always rhyme like that? Anyway, asking why are you putting the GPU in now? Well, because of the way the AIO goes in with the orientation that it goes in for this build, it has to go in first, otherwise it's just a pain in the butt. Tubes down, guys, it's the only way to do it. It's really hard to hold my arms up above my head like this. I don't care. <laughs> You'll do what I want. The quality of filming has gone down significantly. I don't really care. Okay, this is why. Ready? Ready spaghetti? Ready spaghetti? Ready sp Somebody touched it. My spaghetti. I'm trying to show the people the thing or the reason why I do the things the way I do. I decided to rotate the bracket just to make this a little bit easier to, I thought better of myself. Everyone always has different ways and different amounts and all this blah, blah, blah. But the problem is I don't build PCs that often. So yeah, this is the real way to do it, right? You mean the guy that got upset a couple of days ago for your thermal paste application was wrong? Yes. Sometimes you can be right, but most of the time, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for Ryzen, like AM4, what I usually will recommend is, you see the Z in the middle of Ryzen? Do this. Get your thermal paste, put a blob a bit bigger than a P, you know, like a green P, and you just put it on there. And I wish I showed you the thermal paste pattern from when I pulled this off, but Look, this is the age old way of doing it. This is just the right way. There's a reason why they said, hey, do it this way all the way like that back in the day. It's because it works. I'm going as fast as I can. All right, I kind of speed ran a lot of the build just because I wanted to get it done because I want to see if this thing is going to work correctly. This is the cable management. And I know I said this the other day in the last build that we did like this, but the cable management on this one is actually a lot worse than the other one but I don't care because I have a really simple fix for cable management. Look how good the cable management is now. Hello. Can't see a single cable. The big reveal, that's how it ends up looking. Yeah, I did a thing. You know, Memento, let's see if it works. Why are you filming my feet? Do I have to pay extra for that? Do your shoelaces up. I don't want to. Moment of truth, does it turn on? Whoa, I did not set it to that color at all. What's your favorite color? Why is it on that color though? Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did a build with it being this color ages ago. I didn't use this in the Fractal North build, did I? No, I didn't. Why is it all yellow? I mean, it doesn't matter. I just want it to post. I mean, it turns on. Turning on is usually a good sign. Everything's up and running. I had a little thing happened with the RAM, all good, sorted now, rebooted the PC, did all the drivers, did all that stuff. I wanted to save you guys a headache of this, but the PC works, tested it, games, all good, good to go. Even little things like the color scheme we had set up in Aurasync before because it's an ASUS board, it all just went back to exactly how it was before, which is very, very cool. So, hey Jack, here's your new PC. I already sent you a picture of what it looked like because I don't want to do those reveal things on video anymore. Bit awkward. They're a bit awkward. I mean, it's fine, but I get that people's reactions, like they're not used to being on camera. So I get it, right? It's all good. All right. I'll put a PC part pickle list. I'll have the pickle list. You love pickles. I love pickles. Send me pickles. Actual real food pickles. Oh yeah. There's one of those in the description down below the pickle list with all of the parties from the pickles on the pickle list. I think that's going to be a new thing now. I feel like PC, PC pickle list. I love pickles. Now, if I was to guess at how much a PC like this would cost, I would say, say about a thousand ish US dollars. Really? Mm. How many pickles? I think that's about 78 pickles on the scale of how many, how much things cost. The pickles pickles are, are kind of expensive, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Because they take time. Yep. Speaking of time, it's time for me to go. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. Make sure you do yourself a big old favor and subscribe if you like the music you heard here, which this video probably doesn't have. I make all the music. There's a link to how to listen to it by clicking the join button. I'm repeating myself. A little. Subscribe. Do it. You're just doing it to make my arms even sore. Yep. Subscribe. Like the video. Once again, I'm your once againer. You seek. We speak. It's Pickle Nick. It's Pickle Nick. You said the line I was going to say. <laughs> you wrecked the joke. I've got pickles on the mind. Oh, fuck. I'm out of here. I had a really good pickle sandwich for dinner last night. You did.